Reimbursements are introduced by the company in the salary structure to reduce employees' income tax. With the help of Great HR's new Enhanced Reimbursement module, you can now view and apply for reimbursement claims as per your company policy, upload bills for reimbursement individually or in bulk, view your reimbursement statement details and history of each claim component, then finally, you can download reimbursement payslip for the components process. Let's see it in action. Navigate to the reimbursement page from the salary tab to get started. The reimbursement page displays two tabs, overview and my claims. The overview tab displays a complete list of all the claim components provided by your company. You can also view a full statement of your reimbursement for the selected period. The entitlement displays the maximum amount you are eligible for reimbursement under each claim category. Claim paid explains the amount you have claimed till date for the selected period. And the balance displays the amount you can still claim under each category. Click on view details for detailed information about each claim category. The donor chart displays the information such as entitlement, opening balance and the balance remaining. The progress bar indicates information such as balance, claim approved, claim availed, claim pending, and excess claims, etc. The claims tab displays information about all the claims you have applied till date. The payout tab displays information about all reimbursement transactions and details of the amount paid against each claim. The remarks column for each transaction indicates how the reviewer has approved the claim request for you. For example, the reviewer can approve the claim request through a web transaction or by importing an Excel file. Click here to go back to the reimbursement page. My Claim tab displays the status and details of your claims. Under the Draft tab, you can view all the claims that you have saved but you have not submitted for approval yet. Print them for your reference or even delete them. You can also view claim number, number of bills, amount and claim date of each draft. Click here to edit. You can edit the details and submit the bills for approval. Under the Pending tab, you can view all the claims that you have submitted for approval. The claims available in Pending tab are not reviewed yet. You can withdraw these claims, print them or view details. Click View Details to open the View Details page. You can view the status of claim request, claim amount, number of bills, approved amount, component details, bills attached by you, the date when you have submitted the bill, and you can also withdraw your claim. You can view the life cycle of the claim and add comments for the admin in the timeline. Under the History tab, you can view all the claims that have been raised by you. These claims are either reviewed by the admin or withdrawn by you. Now let's see how to add a new reimbursement claim request. Click here on Add Claim to get started. The Add New Claim page opens. If you have some draft bill saved in your application, you can see the notification on the Add New Claim page. You can click here to edit and submit the draft bills. On the Add New Claims page, you can choose to add bills in bulk or individually. Let's click on Add Bills manually. Click Upload to upload bills. You can upload the bills in JPEG, PNG and PDF format. The maximum size for each file is 5 MB. You can also view the name and size of the file under the bills details. Select the reimbursement component from the drop down list. You can select the relevant claim component. After selecting the relevant component, you can view the details related to the selected category such as claim approved, claim paid, claim pending, etc. Specify the bill number as displayed in the uploaded bill. From the bill date calendar, select the date on which the bill was created as displayed in the uploaded file. Specify the amount of the bill in the bill amount box. There should be amount as displayed in the uploaded bill. Specify any remarks if required. Click Save and Add Bills if you need to add any other bill. Else, click here to save the bill details. Finally, click here to submit your claim for approval. Your claim request has been successfully submitted for approval. You can always click on Add Bills to add bills in bulk. You can upload maximum 10 bills in JPEG, PNG, and PDF format. The maximum size of each file is 5 MB. After the files are uploaded, you can view the claim summary page. The bills we have just uploaded in bulk are grouped as uncategorized by default. To categorize them under a relevant claim component, you must edit the bills by clicking here. Once you have added all the required information, you can save the bills. 
You can also submit the claims for review by clicking Submit for Approval. Please note, while uploading the bills in bulk, the bills will be saved and reflected under My Claims tab only after you have edited and saved the bills. If you have navigated to any other page before saving the bills, you must re-upload them. With that, we come to an end of this video. I hope you found this video useful. Stay tuned for more and don't forget to like and subscribe to this channel to get updates about our upcoming videos. Thank you. Have a wonderful day.